did, did, did not commit a foul ano ha so, sir kung meron tayong wrestling circuit dito no? <laughs> magandang itag team siguro yung Bo Belga at saka, at saka si Dorian Peña and you can just imagine the ring announcer with a combined weight oh <laughs> ano kaya 500 500 <laughs> 580 pounds kasi sino yung import ng talking text si uh, we used to play for Air 21 also at si Honeycutt Gerald Honeycutt malaki din yun that was a good game the Sean other day. Sean, Sean Daniels? Sean, Sean, ah, okay, Sean Daniels. Jay Lewis is also a big oh, guy. Oh, yun. And see what happens when when, uh, when Young puts the ball on the floor and tries to move inside and has no space. That shot clock is going to go. Oh, 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 oh. They won't whistle that, and the layup will not bite. It could be an Arvin Santos foul underneath. And you can see that he's trying. You know, he's exasperated because he's not playing well, and he knows it. But there's an effort on his part. He's not giving up. Uh, just getting used to the idea of playing here. Yes, it's a second violation of flopping and therefore a technical whistle against San Miguel. And Ron J. Bonafé will take the technical free throw. Of course, the, the, the flopping rule is something of a, of a work in progress, uh, something we, would, we are trying out this year. And sure. may not be back next year. <laughs> well, that's... It's yeah, such I'm, an objective, subjective uh, no, yes, rule. Yes, you know, you're right. It's like uh, no harm, no foul. Remember that. We've yeah. had that. We have a variety of things. The one I really oh, found very complex as well was, yes, remember, yes, yung bawal yung yes, yes. illegal defense? Ah, yes. Oh. Well, sir, alam ko mahili ka sa mga sports books. Na. I have a book, and it's entitled How to Cheat in Sports. <laughs> and there's a chapter there about flopping. And, and how uh, to get away with it. And I'm how to get away with it, yes. Oh it's a book written by Scott Osler, actually. At, uh, one of these days, we'll, you know, we'll talk about it because it's <laughs> very interesting. There's a big chapter in basketball, How to Cheat. I'm not suggesting, by the way, that, <laughs> that, that, that two should, players should cheat. We're not tolerating that. I think that you should, as Buena Fe knocks that, and you should take it with a grain of salt and then sign. Right. In the meantime, 11 points by Buena Fe. It just opens your eyes to the different tricks <laughs> that some players do, like tugging at the jersey when the players aren't, oh. when the referees aren't looking. Belga trying his best point guard impersonation act. The shot, Buena Fe says, can I have a second one? No! But the lead is down to eight, and we will start from this point when we swing wide open the doors for the fourth quarter. Can San Miguel close this out for win number one, or will Air 21 take a special delivery? Come the fourth. Final quarter, and I see the uh, burden of uh, making the change in the game well, is on Air 21. Now, what should be at the top of their list, Kinito? I think it's important that they stay strong and aggressive. Um, well, taking that outside shot. I also think they should go back to that point that we originally talked about, the outside artillery. And Bo Belga just scoring a three-point shot. As you took a look at the quarter scoring now, it's also important that the imports finish strong. I think both coaches know that. That's the reason why both Young and Freeman are now sitting on the bench. And here we go with Air 21 rushing to the other side. San Miguel trying to keep in step. Nice oh, pass inside. That's a zip pass. Yes. And Kramer connecting with nice footwork. You know, when Kramer gets a good pass, he usually knows how to do what to do with it. <coughs> Excuse me, it's 17 to 66 with a minute going by us here. Dondon thought about it. The McNaught inside we go. It's taken away nearly by Buena Fe. They retain possession. The McNaught stops. Congestion inside the ball is loose. The pass to Buena Fe. He goes all the way. Lazy shot. Trail job, Kramer. No! Gonzalez, under the sea, kicks it out. The McNutt blocks it away. And Williams there's a foul by Williams. Oh, what a play that time. 
Air 21 showing a lot of hustle without their import on the floor. And getting some rebounds, and I'm sure Shotak Ginsan doesn't like the idea of uh, the smaller team on the other side grabbing away those rebounds. We have a break. Back in a moment. This is our schedule on Friday. We hie over to uh, the Goneta Astrodome in Pasay City. Look at this combination of games. A oh, nice one. Talking Tech versus Rain or Shine. That's a battle of the heavyweights. Uh -huh. Sean Daniels up against Jai Lewis. And that's another nice tag team partnership. Of course, you've got Santo Lucia up against Barangay Ginebra. Should be also a game to watch. Anthony Williams exploded, or Anthony Johnson rather, for Santa Lucia, exploded for 41 points in a losing effort in their season opener. And they lost to Barajo, which, which lost earlier today to Coca-Cola. And what about uh, all these story for Hinebra? And uh, that was a rousing debut he had. Wala pa si Rudy Hartfield, That's coming, uh, something to look forward to. Oh, Air 21 knocking at the door very loudly here. Oh, what's killing San Miguel now is the turnovers. And in the at the end of the third period, they already had 16 turnovers as against 11 for Air 21. Now they've got 18 turnovers. Belgad started everything with a three from the outside. Ooh, there's a foul. And a push coming from San Miguel. Could be Humpiveros. It is his second. Ontiveros is very conscious of the scoring ability. He uh, Ron J. Bonafé, so he gave up that foul. The Express tried to work it inside. Gonzalez crossover. Kramer. Santos not biting into the fake. Shot clock at one. Wesley fires offline. Yo and Gonzalez battling. The ninja. Arwin. Oh, yes. And for Arwin Santos, I think that's just his first two points. But your penetration is Joseph. Nice follow. You know, Magum, Magum or John was talking about Joseph Zio's penetrating ability as one of the reasons why Coach Shaw Tankinsen wanted to bring him in. And that really creates a lot of situations. That time he created an opportunity for Arvid to score inside. Good observation by both of you. In the meantime, Peña. Coming down to nine minutes now. Williams trying to get organized there. Belga, Kramer, trying to post up is Wesley, trying to curl, nowhere to go, foul, pushing. But that defense of San Miguel is really locking down on uh, Air 21. And, you know, I'm surprised that Ramsey Williams is on the floor. You need a Mike Cortez to orchestrate at this point. Williams is a little bit too green. And Young is back on the floor. Yes, uh, pulling out Belga. Arwin Santos, uh, maybe it could be a conference of adjustments for uh, Arwin as you uh, discussed earlier, especially in terms of this playing time. Gonzalez, Williams trying to reach for it. Here's Kabagnot sprinting. Joseph Yo is ahead. Kabagnot, oh, what a shot coming from Kabagnot. And the two new guards of San Miguel on the floor combining with. Uh, Dondon and Tiveros to give them a three-guard lineup. Oh, that's a surprise jumper coming from Young. Hindi lang three-point shot, ano? Pero outside the tip. A very quiet 17 points for him. Yo trying to go lefty there. Arwin Santa, or rather Washington, tapping it from behind. That's what you call a mental lapse. Peña says hello. Easy. Easy two points. Peña had good scoring position. San Miguel working that ball so efficiently inside, sir. So well said. 11 points by Peña. Kramer wide open. 